we have been just so thoroughly um, blessed by our oils. They have changed the way we treat sick children in our house. They have changed the way we clean. They have changed so many things about our lifestyle because um, they gave us options to do more naturally. Um, when I got married five years ago, I came from a house, um, from a home with a very health conscious mother who is a nurse. Um, I wanted nothing more than to follow in her footsteps and be the gatekeeper of our home. I wanted to be in control of what was coming in and out. I wanted um, to make sure that my kids were going to be raised in as chemical free home as I possibly could. And it was hard, guys. It was so hard. Every time I would bring something in, even if it was green or all natural, later on down the road I would find out, oh, oops, <laughs> you know, it has some deadly chemical in it. And so I was spending an arm and a leg trying to buy all natural, all green products. I was trying to make my own products. And, you know, to some extent it was working, um, but it was like something was missing. And finally my sister-in-law kind of... Um, piqued my interest in essential oils because I was realizing that there was, um, you know, God made natural, all nat um, all natural plant, plant based um, ingredients I could use to make things and I wouldn't have to worry about the side effects of those things. So once I started learning more about essential oils and the cleaning power of things like thieves and lemon, um, I was very, very interested because I wanted um, I wanted to use them in making my own cleaning products um, to replace some of those nasty chemicals that I had um, been trying to even make my own cleaners with. And it took me no time flat to realize that we were actually going to be saving a significant amount of money by making our own products like this as opposed to... Um, purchasing all natural, all green products or trying to like DIY them with other, you know, a boatload of other uh, ingredients, whether they were safe or not. So that's kind of where we started. And since getting our starter kit, like I said, it's completely revolutionized the way that we treat illness in our home. Um, it's been an amazing, amazing um, preventative for illness in general. Uh, we've been so blessed by God to have just really healthy children and really no... Um, you know, like major uh, health crises at this point in our life. And um, so that's been a huge blessing. We haven't had to deal with any, you know, like chronic illnesses or anything of that nature. And not necessarily because of oils, just because God has seen it fit to bless us in that way. But we have been able to use essential oils um, to keep us, you know, keep us tip top and in shape and healthy and we haven't needed to use things like antibiotics and um, you know perpetual medication to keep people safe and and healthy so that's just been really awesome and our health has been like I said completely blessed by essential oils and what they've been able to do with us and what we've been able to really do with them so we started um, about two years ago like I said doing this and uh, now over the last couple months, I've been uh, really fired up about helping some of my friends do the same things. Um, we, I have people ask me all the time for recipes and things like that. And uh, I use a significant amount of essential oils to treat, treat things, to clean, um, to make my own DIY projects. And so tonight, I'm kind of hoping to explain to you um, just the basics of how to use essential oils as well as how to get essential oils. So um, there are three basic uses or ways to use essential oils. So the very first is topically and that's so simple. It is a drop of oil on your hand, maybe diluted, maybe not diluted and rubbed on the skin. Easy peasy. The only thing you need to know about that is is that there are warmer oils and they should be diluted with a fatty carrier oil. An essential oil is a tiny, tiny little molecule and it goes straight into the bloodstream and um, if, it is, if it is a warm oil, something like thieves, then it will cause a very warm sensation on the skin. So in that situation, we like to dilute it with a carrier oil and that could be coconut oil, almond oil. There are tons and tons of fatty carrier oils, even something like vegetable, not vegetable oil, olive oil. Don't use vegetable oil. 
use olive oil. Um, and that can be used to dilute the oil. It, it also helps to make it go farther. So later on, I'm going to be telling you a little bit about Panaway. Panaway is a great oil to give a back rub for. You wouldn't want to just put one drop of Panaway on your back because it would only cover a tiny little area of your skin. If you paired that with a um, coconut oil or almond oil or some sort of fatty carrier oil, you could do your entire back with that with just one or two drops. And that's kind of where people get nervous about essential oils. They say, oh my word, I can't spend that much on a, you know, one bottle of essential oil. But what they're not realizing is that that bottle of essential oil probably has hundreds and hundreds of applications worth of oil in it. Because you need to consider the fact that you're only going to be using one or two drops of essential oil for whatever it is that you might be doing because they are so concentrated. So that's one way is by doing it um, topically. Another way to do it would be by diffusing it or doing putting it into the air. And there's a couple different ways you could do that. I love to use my diffuser. The starter kit comes with a diffuser. You can purchase the diffuser at pretty much any health, you know, health food store, anything like that. And what it's doing is it's um, dispersing those tiny little oil molecules into the air and that allows you to then breathe them in and that is the fastest way to get essential oils into your body. So they're going to enter your bloodstream from your nose or from your lungs within like 26 seconds. So it's very, very quick. Um, and that should also be scary in a way because if we are using um, unpure essential oils or we're using some sort of air freshener or we're um, burning a candle with synthetic ingredients in it, it's true for those things too. When we smell them and they go into our nose, into our brain, into our blood system, um, it is like in seconds. And that means those very harmful chemicals are going right into our bodies too. So that's one way is through a diffuser. I also love to DIY it and put it in a small little glass spray bottle and spray it around the room. It gets it into the air. It gets it onto all the surfaces. And that's just a super quick, cheap way to do it so in water. So I would fill a little bottle with water and some essential oil, shake it up, good to go. So the last way that you can use them is internally. And I prefer to do this um, in two different ways. I like to take them in tiny little capsules. I, they pop into two pieces and you fill the capsule with oil and then you can swallow it just like a pill. Or you could drink it in water or in some sort of, um, in your cooking. You could use an essential oil in your cooking. And um, the French actually uh, only really use essential oils or aromatherapy in that capacity is internally. And they have been doing that for hundreds and hundreds of years. Um, they utilize it uh, predominantly in cooking, but they have done vast research on on taking oils internally. It's something that should be done with some precaution because the oils are so incredibly highly concentrated, but if done correctly, it can be so monumentally beneficial to your health. So there's a lot of aromatherapy guides on the market. Um, I would recommend uh, Life Science Publishing um, is a website that has just wonderful, wonderful reference guides in it. And um, I take oils every day um, and they, like I said, can be so beneficial to your health. So those are the three ways that you can use essential oils and that you can take advantage of their um, the health benefits. And like in my case, we use all three of those every day in our house in some capacity or another. And sometimes it looks different than others. Some days look different than others. You know, if we're headed out into the sun or we're headed out, we know there's going to be bugs, then um, we would either uh, use a spray bottle to spray ourselves with oils, we might apply it topically to our skin. There's just a lot of different avenues that you can use oils because they are so versatile and that's kind of one of the benefits to essential oils. So that's what you need to know about those three basic steps as far as using essential oils. So now that you guys know the basics of how you might use essential oils, I'm sure you're all wondering, how do I even begin figuring out where to buy my essential oils. You know, I buy 90% of my stuff on Amazon. Should I buy them there? Should I go to the health food store and just grab one of their bottles off of their shelf? So it is, it is a confusing, confusing decision. And if you are a research nut like I am, then you've probably already spent time looking into these essential oils and where you should buy them, where you should get them from. 
I started looking into essential oils a very long time ago, five or more years ago, before there was so many brands on the market. And I experimented with kind of a huge host of different oil companies, and I was quite pleased with what I was finding. The problem was is that I hadn't tried Young Living yet. Um, my sister-in-law actually introduced me to Young Living maybe three years ago, and I started buying just one or two oils from her, um, but I didn't have any of the same blends to compare those oils to. So um, that was, I didn't have much to like compare, so I was just purchasing from lots of different companies. Then, the actually the week that I ended up getting my starter kit, when you get your starter kit, you become a member of Young Living. Um, the week I got that, I had picked up a bottle of frankincense for like, I don't know, maybe like 14 or $15, which is so, that's crazy cheap. Um, I picked it up and I had been using it on my face and um, I thought I had gotten a really good deal. And for some reason, my sister-in-law was visiting from North Carolina and she actually let me smell, not to prove me wrong, she didn't even know that I had purchased this other thing of um, frankincense, but I, I was smelling her oils and I smelled the frankincense and I was kind of blown away because it did not smell even like the same oils. I mean, it did not even smell like they were from the same group, the family, the species of the same oils. And so that kind of really made me question what I had purchased for a super, super cheap price. The more and more I have looked into this, um, the more and more I realize the just huge difference in quality um, of oils produced by different companies, by other companies in general. I mean, it's like if we were talking about restaurants. It would be like me bragging, saying, well, I got my dinner for five bucks at McDonald's, and you were like, okay, that's great, but I got my dinner for $25 at, you know, name whatever nice restaurant that you might eat at. It would be kind of like comparing apples and oranges. That's what you would be thinking, right? It wouldn't be like bragging so much as it would be thinking, yeah, we didn't even eat on the same level. Um, so that's kind of what I came to learn about essential oils is that they're not all oils are created equally. And that's created is exactly kind of where the problem begins. Other oils are created at much lower standards, I'm finding, than Young Living. We can see it in the testing. We can see it in the quality control. Um, I have heard reports of um, Young Living selling their floral water, which is literally the leftover substance that they that they use as that is waste from the essential oils that they're um, producing um, to other companies that are then bottled and sold as a 100% pure essential oil. The main problem with marketing is, is that there is no standard that says um, what an oil should be at. There's testing that's required to be done, but an oil can be labeled 100% pure when it's only just a fraction of a percentage of actual essential oil. It can then be filled with a carrier oil, um, or like I said, a floral water oil, and labeled and sold to you for a couple dollars. So when I'm talking about the therapeutic uh, um, aromatherapy uses of essential oils, I am not referring to those other brands. Young Living is the absolute leader in essential oils worldwide. They're the oldest company um, of essential oil producers ever. I mean, they are, when we start looking at the cream of the crop, the highest quality essential oils, Young Living is that. So um, it took me a little while, though, to, th to think, well, you know, what if I just purchased my Young Living products to take internally, to use on the kids, and then I bought my other oils, like, to clean with and other stuff? Because, you know, do I really need nice, nice premium essential oils to be, like, cleaning my floors with? But then I realized, wait, I am ditching other chemicals and other products because I want the best. So let's break it down as far as the floors, cleaning your floors. You know, why can't I buy an off-brand Thieves cleaner to clean my floors with, right? I mean, what's the big deal? Well, the big deal is, is that the pores on the bottom of your feet are the largest pores in your body. That means that when I mop the floor, even with a um, lower grade essential oil of thieves, 
it's probably not actually thieves. It's probably cut with some sort of th synthetic carrier. And I have just now put it on the floor for my barefoot children to walk across. And that oil is then absorbed right into their body. I mean, after I started thinking about it, here I am, like I said, ditching and switching all of my products over to all natural, um, either DIY or um, purchased actual high quality products, and I'm still cutting corners. And so after I really thought about that, I realized, no, you know, um, I want the best of the best in my home. I want to feel good and have a good peace of mind about the fact that I am bringing the highest quality products and the safest products into my house. And that's why I choose Young Living. And I know um, most of my team and, and all the ladies that I know who use Young Living um, are so impressed with the quality if they have ever used any other brand of oil. And that's why we choose it. I also feel an, a huge peace of mind about Young Living's seed to seal process. And they have a promise that says from the seed that goes into the ground to the seal that's put on the bottle, they are going to only give you the highest product essential oil, the highest product um, pro or the highest quality product. And I know that that is true because of the fact that Young Living allows oils to go out of stock. The reason that that's a big deal is because they're waiting for that product to come back into stock. So although this would probably never happen because lavender is a very plentiful product um, that they can make, that they always have, but let's just say that for some reason the lavender um, pro the lavender crop failed for the year and they were not going to have enough lavender to produce um, the lavender uh, oil for the year, then lavender would just go out of stock. They wouldn't raise the price and try to make people fight over that last couple bottles of oil. They wouldn't buy lavender oil from another company and bottle it as their own. Um, it would just go out of stock and they would lose they would lose hundreds of thousands of dollars because they just wouldn't have it to sell. And Young Living, as far as I know, is the only company that will do that. Another reason I love Young Living is because they have over 400 products. They have more products and they sell many, many oils that literally no other company sells. Um, they sell an, an oil called Idaho Blue Spruce, and which is one of my favorite oils, and I can only get it at Young Living. Um, they are the world leaders. They take it upon themselves to have the best oils and they have a massive selection. They also make supplements that are um, that have oils in them, infused in them, and um, they have lots of other oil infused products. They also supply me with lots of healthcare products that I can't get anywhere else. So because of that, I love Young Living and I love what they can offer me. I also love the fact that I can get awesome deals there. They have a rewards program, Essential Rewards, and um, I can get on that and I can save tons and tons of money. I can um, get points back. It is just an awesome program and they really treat their customers so, so well. So that's why I choose Young Living over any other company. Hey everybody, so I have said it before and I am gonna say it again. The premium starter kit is like literally the best deal that you can get on youngliving.com. And I can put my money where my mouth is because I'm here to admit to you that I have now purchased myself a second premium starter kit. And the reason that is, is because it is such a good deal. Like it is literally the best deal that you're going to find on youngliving.com. If I went on and tried to buy the oils that come in this starter kit, um, even at my reduced pricing, I would still be spending hundreds of dollars more than I am. So I'm gonna open this up right now and show y'all what comes in this starter kit. First off, um, you're gonna get a, a diffuser and you're gonna choose which diffuser you get. This one does not increase the price of the starter kit. So this is the one I got this time around and this is what I've already had, the Dew Drop, and I love the Dew Drop. It's just a really great diffuser. So you're gonna get that and you're also gonna get some literature. You are going to get a product guide as well as a magazine. And these are great for flipping through. Um, the product guide has tons of info um, as to what other oils are offered by Young Living as well as like product usage, how you can use them. So that's great. And of course the magazine is just really fun. Um, this just has lots of great like oily information in it and um, just like little facts and tidbits. So it's just kind of a fun read. So the diffuser and then some literature, but this is the good stuff right here. So this is what the premium starter kit looks like and this just slides right off of here. Whoops. And I just lost a piece of instruction paper, but that's okay. 
So this is magnetic, so it's really cool and like kind of high tech. And it opens up and there are your oils. So it's super pretty. So take a look at those pretty, pretty oils that come in the starter kit. So as you can see, first off, you have a line of Vitality oils, and that means that they're regulated for dietary um, usage. And the I'm gonna tell you a secret though. What's in these um, Vitality oils is actually the exact same thing that is in a non-Vitality oil. It's just kind of a legality that Young Living needs to package them differently. So these are um, oils that you can take internally, and you know what, you can take the other ones internally as well, they're just not labeled for internal usage. So that's just kind of a little tidbit, but, it, but they are, um, the FDA does ask them to do that, so they comply by doing that. So first off, you have, in this little envelope here, you have some, some more literature. Um, it explains the seed to seal process, and it um, just gives you some information in here, so there's a little pocket for that. And then this just pops right out of here. It actually is a little stand. You can pop that out and it becomes a little stand. So there are your oils. Some of them aren't turned quite right. And um, like I said, I'm out of these oils, so I reordered this because it is such an awesome, awesome deal. So I now have all of my starter kit oils on hand again to use, as well as all the extra little goodies that come in here. So there's actually a secret compartment in the bottom of here. Kind of cool, right? So you have some Ninja Red. If you have not tried out Ninja Red, you are missing out. They send you two packets. I'm dropping stuff everywhere. They send you two packets. My kids love this stuff. We love this stuff. It is so darn good for you. It is, it is like just awesome. It's really high in antioxidants and it's just really great for overall health. You also get these little samples. You can't really tell. I'll see if I can show you them. Let it focus. There's a whole bunch. There's two, um, I think, Peace and Calming, Peppermint, Lavender, and Lemon. And um, you can hand those out to your friends. You can keep them in your diaper bag like me. Um, you're also going to get some little vials that you can, drams, that you can maybe send your friends some samples in. So that's really fun. You also are going to get a roller top. And um, I put this on my pan away or my stress away because I use it so often. And this is the top you'll use for it, so you're gonna get that. You are also going to get another oil in addition to your starter kit oils. So, so stress away. So let's go over what you're getting here. You're getting your stress away, which is, it's all in the name, stress away. This stuff is so de-stressing. Um, I like to have this in the car with me. And like I said, I put a roller top on this, so I might just roll it across my wrist. It is wonderful. You're gonna get peppermint. Great for digestive health. I love to drink it. Um, this is also great for like neck or head tension. You're gonna get some thieves. This is this is like the powerhouse of um, boosting your immune system. I like to put this on our feet. Those are the largest pores in your body, and um, they go they um, absorb oils quicker than any other spot. It's also not sensitive. Thieves is a warmer oil, so if I'm putting this on my girls, this might be um, this would be I put this on their feet. Um, I would dilute it a little bit. Digize is 100% for digestional health, and this, I cannot express to you how quickly this works for digestive type of issues. Um, if it is a digestive issue that's maybe um, farther up than your digestive re region, you can put it on your throat and over your chest um, if you're having any pain there. You can, um, I just apply it straight to my stomach, or you could take that in a capsule. As you see, it's Digize, and it's a Vitality Digize, so that means that Young Living says, yes, take that internally. You're gonna get Copaiba. Copaiba is, it's known for many, many great things, especially for muscle health. It is an amplifying oil, so it is really, really great at um, increasing the strength of other oils. It's great for reducing um, inflammation or pain. It also, the way we use it in our house is for teething. Um, it is a sweet oil and I just, I don't dilute it at all. I just put it right on my baby's gums. Lemon is the bomb for cleaning. If it is something sticky, lemon can get it off. I can like almost guarantee that lemon can get it off. I, we love to drink this and we love to diffuse it as well. Okay, lavender. Oh, we go through so much lavender at our house. It's Obviously, it's known for sleep, but it's for so much more than sleep. 
We use it for any, pretty much any type of injury. It is a super gentle oil, so we can just drop it right on without fear of it burning or stinging, and I know it's gonna clean the area. So we, we love, love lavender. There's so many uses for it. We love to diffuse it. Um, we just use it all the time. Okay, frankincense. When I got my first starter kit, my first one of these, frankincense sat on the shelf for forever because I did not know how to use it. Um, and now, ironically, I use frankincense every single day. It's pretty similar, actually, to lavender, super gentle, super mild, mild oil. I put it on my face every single day. Skin loves frankincense. Forget the moisturizers, forget the facial lotions, get yourself some frankincense, and it is going to do so much more for you health-wise than any type of facial product that you're buying. It's gonna benefit your overall health as well as your skin's health. Um, I also use this when I need to sleep. This is a great one for relaxing. Um, I love to diffuse it as well. I love the smell of frankincense now, which um, it's, it's more of a woodsy smell, but it is so relaxing. Okay, purification. Purification is for eating odors. So when you use something like Febreze and you're spraying the air with it, it is, first of all, it's just covering an odor. It's not getting rid of the odor and it is harming you so greatly health-wise. Frankincense, or frankincense, <laughs> Febreze or any type of air freshener, those are in the top 10 um, hazardous house items that we have and we use every day. I wish that there was a way to like get rid of all of those nasty chemical um, sprays because they are doing so much damage to our health um, when we could just be using purification and it's actually killing the odor in the air. So it's actually getting rid of the odor rather than just covering it up. I have also used this extensively for keeping pests away. Um, outside creatures do not like the smell of uh, purification and that's because there's some really great um, like citrusy smells to it and they just do not enjoy that. Ironically, it is probably the best smelling starter kit oil, maybe aside from Panaway. It smells so good, so we love it and pests don't love it. We even use this on our dog to keep any type of pests away from him. So we use that a lot. And then RC is for respiratory care. It's made with three different kinds of eucalyptus and it is so much better for you than some junky um, store-bought chest rub. When our kids have something respiratory going on, we go straight for the RC. We can put it on their feet, we can put it on their chest, we can put it on their back and it is, it is such a good smell. So you could diffuse it as well. It's just a really, really great one to have on hand for any type of illnesses. Okay, so pan away. I call Panaway the make your husband a believer oil because you cannot deny the power of Panaway. Panaway is a wintergreen muscle relief type of oil. This one is going to be great for any type of like muscle tension. Um, if you have bought your starter kit and your husband is like, why are you doing this? What is this for? I would say, honey, let me give you a foot rub with Panaway and he will be like, wow, that was worth every penny. So. Get your, get your pan away out, ladies, and give your husband a, a little bit of a foot rub there. So those are the 11 oils that come in the starter kit. Some months, Young Living gives away other free oils. This month, they are not. It's kind of like hit and miss. We never know when they're going to do it. So some of you, if you got a kit last month, you would have gotten a tangerine. And um, we love tangerine in our water and to diffuse. It is like our kids love that smell, too. So yeah, so this is how it looks. This is It's such pretty packaging. And um, of course, like I said, you're getting all this extra stuff too. You're getting your diffuser. This has a plug-in, obviously. I didn't want to mess with it, but this diffuser is really nice. It runs for four hours, and then you can hit the button again, and it runs another four hours. And um, it has a little light. We use it as a night light. Um, really, quite often when we travel or go to hotels, I'll bring it with me, and we'll use it as a night light. Um, just really great and portable. So yeah, so that is, like I said, um, that's how nuts we are about our oils. I will repurchase the starter kit to get these oils. It's such a good deal. And that, that is what comes.